Hello boys and girls, I'm Ruby. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own anemometer. Anemometers are important tools that are used by meteorologists who study weather patterns. The faster the wind blows, the faster the anemometer will spin. Please follow along. The materials you will need today are the following. Five Dixie cups. They will need to be the three ounce size. Two straws, preferably ones without the springs, but if that's the only thing you have at home, that is fine. A hole punch. A push pin and a pencil with an eraser. Let's get started. First, using your hole punch, make two holes on the side of four of the paper cups, like this. When you're done, you should have four cups that look like this. One, two, three, and four. Next, using your hole punch, make four holes on the side of your fifth paper cup. Make sure that they are evenly spaced. One, two, three, and four. Now using your fifth paper cup with the four holes on the side, thread your two straws through like this. Now, you will notice that you've created an X. This will be the center of your anemometer. You also have four straw ends here. Now, we will thread each of your four other cups through each end of the straw like this. Make sure that they're facing the same direction. Next, flip everything upside down like this. Using the sharp end of your pencil, poke a hole through the center of your anemometer. Flip your pencil around, erase your side up, push it through. Secure everything using your push pin. Push it through the two straws and into the eraser. You are welcome to loosen it up a little if everything feels too tight. It should be able to spin like this. Now we can begin testing. Today we don't have windy conditions outside. Before you head out, make sure your anemometer is working correctly, like this. Know that 10 spins per minute is roughly equal to one mile per hour of wind. I hope you have fun. Until next week.